Jack, it's always good to see you. Congratulations on this new role. Firstly, how did it come about? Um, Richard Cooper and Mark Hawkins gave me a phone call to go and meet him. And, yeah, they just basically asked me to come back and help with the youth team coaching. I presume you snapped their hand off. Yeah, definitely. It's obviously a club what means a lot to me. So to come back was a chance I couldn't really turn down. What is this new role all about? What are you doing exactly? Um, just basically helping the other coaches with the youth team. So the under 18s, the under 21s. And just, yeah, whenever they're short or if they need a bit of help, I'll just go and help them. You've not been in the uh, the role long at all, have you? But in those first few days, what have you seen within these players, within these various groups which you've been coaching and aiding? Very talented. I think looking back from when I was coming through the youth team to now, you see the chances, what they've got. They've got Brooksby, Woburn. The amount of chances and facilities, what they've got, it's unbelievable. How, therefore, has the academy itself evolved since you last come through it? Yeah, massively. And I think credit goes to the chairman for everything what he's doing. And, yeah, just more youth team players into the first team, the better now. What did the Snags Academy do for you, Jack? Um, just basically nurtured me into professional football because, obviously, it's a lot different from playing for Woodhouse Colts to League Two. So... A lot goes to Richard Cooper and Adam Murray for that because even on a Saturday when I weren't involved, they'd still get me in early in the morning doing technique work and passing drills just to make me a better player. And this here, your new role is a full-time role. You're also at Baseford, aren't you? Let's get a little word on, on, on your time there. How's that going this season as a player? Yeah, really well, Steve-O. I've played the majority of games. Um I'm on nine goals at the minute, so I set myself a target of double figures. So hopefully I'll be able to get there, and I'm just really enjoying my football at the minute. What are you aiming to achieve with Baseford this season? Um, this season we've got an outside chance to get into the playoffs, but if not, just can, hopefully we can win the remaining five games. Looking back on your first team career here with Mansfield, what are your most cherished moments? Um... Well, the first season was keeping the club in the Football League because I know how much that meant to the club and the town. And then obviously just scoring my first professional goal in front of my friends and family, that meant a lot. And previously, before you took on this new role, you obviously had a, a close eye on the club, watching its progress from a fair distance. Uh, how would you, from the outside as you were, evaluate the Stag season? Unbelievable. I think, in my heart, I, I think they'll definitely go up this season. But hopefully, touch wood, I don't curse them, but I do believe they will go up this season. And just how much does it mean to you to be back amongst things here at Mansfield Town, Jack? It means a lot, Steve. Obviously, working with people like Richard Cooper, who has done so much for me in my career, and I can't thank him enough for that. And just seeing old faces it just brings back a lot of memories and makes me happy what do you want to achieve here in this new role um to get as many young players into the first team as possible i've lived my dream now of playing in the first team for mansfield town it's now my job and the other coaches job to get as many of these living their dream i know it's a broad question but generally speaking what advice would you give young players or what advice do you give young players in an academy like here at mansfield town just be dedicated, just make sure you're doing everything you can to get into that first team. So even after training, can you stay behind and take, if you're a free kick taker, can you take free kicks for 10, 15 minutes? Or if you're a defender, go and do some headers just to make you a better player. Great to have you back. Thank you. It's great to be back.